it's better to have loved and lost than not to have loved at all or so they say but while innovation is to be lauded and the failures as a result should be treated as the cost of doing business sometimes just sometimes the failures are so appalling that they deserve a spot on history as a cautionary tale like icarus flying too close to the sun in today's video let's look at all these fails hey guys this is anantan from rtj and let's go the first one on the list is galaxy b released back in 2012 samsung released this project of phone don't get me wrong the idea was awesome and even the implementation was not half bad but boy oh boy did the specs suck it was running a 1 gigahertz processor which was dated slow and frankly laughable even back then it ran android gingerbread which was android 2.3 this was at a time when ice cream sandwich was the norm and worst of all the display was 480 by 800 that's 480p for those who are wondering It had RAM that measured in the MBs and launched at a whopping twenty-eight thousand rupees. Though the innovation is to be lauded, this was poor value and was pulled from sales months after the launch and swept under the rug until now. No fail list is complete without the Fire Phone. It was so ahead of its time with all the features it had, but what really soured the experience was the fact that most of the killer features it boasted was meant to drive traffic to Amazon shopping. You know the Google Lens feature that lets us search photographs and then show us Google searches based on it. Similarly, the Fire Phone had a feature that search photograph and gave you Amazon product page to buy the product. It's not useless, but it's greedy in my opinion. Furthermore, it had 3D features that were quite well implemented, except the fact that it was super useless and gave people motion sickness. It ran Fire OS and lacked Google Play services, although you could download apps from the Amazon App Store. See the theme here. To cap things off, Fire Phone had abysmal battery life, and the performance was mad at best, despite sporting a Snapdragon 800 processor and two gigs of RAM. It was reasonably priced around ten thousand rupees. The TLDR is it was the gateway into Amazon. That's all. Next up, let's take a look at something that was actually innovative and more recent: the Moto Razr. This was meant to be a throwback to the past, tickling those nostalgic nerves. I was a huge fan of the OG Moto Racer and thought it looked sexy AF. So needless to say I was quite excited. But the new Moto Racer was a uh, kick in the pants honestly. Oh it did have the initial wow factor but everything was downhill from there. The lip around the display was an eyesore. The battery life sucked on it and the screen more often than not shattered along the crease. The specs were kind of okay I'd say but combined with the pricing and all the other faults this device definitely makes the list. Okay let's take a moment to talk about the Note 7. and no the note 7 is not on the list cuz samsung made an error for whatever reason they started blowing up samsung accepted their mistake and owned up to it so in my opinion what's done is done let's not beat the dead horse right the actual fail entry on this list is actually the note 8 with the note 8 samsung were really gunchy and stuck a really small battery in the follow up of the note 7 and the note series which was until this point the ultimate power user device With the poor battery life, it really sucked the joy out of using the device and made you a wall hugger in the middle of the day. The rest of the specs were all top shelf, but this Note was very poorly received and mocked. For what it's worth, Samsung came back swinging with the Note 9, and the rest is history. Finally, we have the Red Hydrogen One. It was announced at a time where everyone was going gaga over smartphone cameras and Red Cine cameras. It was a perfect recipe for success but Red went ahead and got too enthusiastic with their 3D cameras and display which no one frankly asked for. I know if it ain't broke don't fix it mentality wouldn't have gotten us all the cool tech but there is a thin line you thread upon where there is innovation and practicality. Red wanted to push the Hydrogen One as a 3D phone more than a camera phone but coming from Red people had higher expectations. The 3D display was mediocre at best and there was only so much 3D content you can consume on a smartphone display right coming back to the camera they were kind of sad figuratively yes literally no look at the sad face they are making jokes is that they put too much work in the 3D tech they kind of lost focus on making the camera cool <laughs> no pun intended the images were fine but the video just couldn't match up to the iPhones and pixels of the era it had amazing battery life and robust build quality going for it but they failed to deliver the platinum edition on time and people were pissed imagine pissing off your hardcore fan base with your first product launch things didn't go well after all these fiascos and the phone kind of tanked but if you don't want this video to tank then make sure you like this video and share it with your friends because you've reached the end of this video 
This is another film of PJ and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Ciao.